Hello everyone and welcome to part number 13, I think, of my Pokemon Liquid Crystal Let's Play. <laughs> okay, so um, as I was training my Unihorny, I encountered the next Pokemon I was going to catch. <laughs> yeah, sorry, by the way, I just woke up so my, my nose is still blocked and stuff like that. I think I'm getting a cold. <laughs> well, yeah, anyways, because I do not have a fire Pokemon yet, uh, I encounter this Numel, and Numel is both a fire as a ground type Pokemon, so it's a very handy combination, and uh, it will turn out to be a very good Pokemon. Okay, so let's try to kill this bitch, I suppose. <laughs> if I don't kill him with one attack. And by the way, my Unihorny is really owning. I mean, I have no words for it. He is just so goddamn good. Well, anyways, I got his health down. Hopefully, I will be able to kill him now. Ah, oh, god damn it! Why is my nose blocked? I hate it. <laughs> well, yeah. Anyways, um, so so the thing I'm going to do, I'm going to train both my Unihorny and my Numel, uh, my newer uh, asset. Yeah, and I already know sort of what I'm going to call him. Magma of almost 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit courses through its body. When it grows cold, the magma hardens and slows it. Aww. We don't want that to happen. And I will name him... Fire Pimple. I think that's a pretty good... Yeah, it's a pretty good uh, name. If I can type, of course. Fire... Pimple. Okay, here it goes. It just fits, so uh, I'm lucky. <laughs> okay, now let's go onwards. I will train my Pokemon later. First I will just try to reach a Goldenrod City. Perhaps I will succeed, perhaps I will not. I'll quickly go to the Pokemon Center first. Okay, yeah, I skipped it, by the way. I think it's not really that interesting. Me flirting with, um, what she called again? Yeah, Nurse Joy. Well, yeah, anyways, my, my uh, Unihorny, I was almost going to say Heracross or Sunny Horny, um, he learned a new attack, he learned Endure, which is quite a good attack, so it basically just stretches the match out for one more time. And my Fire Pimple, let's see what kind of attacks he has. Only Tackle and Growl, but I think he will start learning fire attacks and stuff. He will start learning that, like, pretty soon. <laughs> okay, now let's go onwards. Yeah, first I'll put my birdie in front, because I have a feeling that he is almost going to evolve. And when that happens, then he gets so much better. There are no words for it. So yeah. <laughs> I basically received cut in the last episode, and now I, um... I can already use it because I have the badge. Uh, let's quickly kill this shroomish. Here you go, you bugger. And I'm level 18. Yay. Ah. What? Swagfly is evolving. <gasps> Yay. Come on, evolve faster. Evolve harder. Like it more. You bastard. Here you go. Now he has even more swag, my birds. <laughs> Pijato. Then to to eventually evolve him into a Pidgeot. Well, yeah. Anyways, I will now see what his stats are compared to the rest. Nah, still not that good. But yeah, I'm not going to whine about it. Uh, the Pokemon I will train now is Unihorny. I will just train my swag fly later. I don't need it yet. Yes, I would like to cut it. Thank you. Okay, let's go onwards. Okay. I'm still skipping every battle. Whenever I can. Okay, let's go onwards. What does this say? Ilex Forest is so overgrown with trees that you can't see the sky. Please watch out for items that may have been dropped. And ten steps away from it. There is an item. <laughs> that is very convenient. Okay, let's see what this is. An X attack. Okay, so I think I, I think I know who I'm going to give the X attack. Mm -hmm. I will give it to my Numel, my Fire Pimple. He's already holding a raspberry. I do not need it, so 
Here you go, X attack. Let's go onwards. Oh, another item. Well, this episode is already coming to an end, but I think I've reached something. I've already gone uh, past the tree. First, I'll kill this guy. You have Pokemon. Battle now! With all the capital letters. <laughs> I'll quickly kill this one. Okay, he is dead. Now, I'll first go here because I thought I saw an item over here. God damn it, the wild Pokemon. Okay, well, there is a person here. What am I doing? I'm shaking trees using headbutts. It's fun. Here, try you try it too. Yay! <laughs> TM02. Rattle trees with headbutts. Sometimes sleeping Pokemon fall out. Thank you very much. Hmm. I will, I will immediately teach it to one of my Pokemon, if I can do it already. Okay, TM case. Headbutt. Let's see. So, my Rocky Handy can learn Headbutt, but Headbutt is quite a good attack, so perhaps I'm going to learn it to Fire Pimple. Yep, I will learn it to Fire Pimple. <laughs> uh, okay, now, I'll, I'll immediately try it out now. Here is a tree I can headbutt. Fire Pimple use headbutt. And there is no Pokemon in it. But if, but sometimes there will be a Pokemon in it. And then it will be like a proper... It will be like a better Pokemon. But yeah, I'm going to have to wrap this up now. Thank you guys for watching. And here is a question segment of the video. See ya. Hello and welcome to the question segment. It's quite a long question this time. Okay, if your actions are a result of our decisions, and our decisions are simply a result of brain activity, and our brain activity is simply a result of chemistry, do we have a free will? Do we really have a reason to live thereby? For me, scientifically, there is no free will because we are all atoms and small particles just hanging together, and sort of electricity keeps our brain functioning. And personally, I think we all have a soul, except for gingers, they don't. <laughs> uh, by the way, that's just a joke. Please don't feel offended, by the way. <laughs> I just needed, needed to get some answer out of this. <laughs> really, please don't feel offended. I have nothing against ginger people. I, a lot of my friends are red-haired, so... Uh, <laughs> it's just a pun. It's just a joke, okay? No, really, it is. <laughs> or is it? Well, yeah, anyways, I'm going to uh, end this. Thank you guys for watching, and here is... The answer of the latest question which was if you would have to spend uh, the rest of your life in a house which movie which game and which person would you bring with you thank you guys for watching and see you